What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM23 series where we look at Sutherland's town on the football manager and we see how they get on and develop in their, uh, their careers so you guys get an idea before you make that big purchase that you think is the right one for your team. So down below guys, don't forget to hit the like button, it really does help the channel out and hit the subscribe button as well for keep up to all the content on this channel. Down below is my favourite channel and my Let's Play channel as well, go check those out. My Discord has been removed for now, I'm looking at redoing it and revamping it again um, and looking at a uh, software that allows me to do put links in there and cost me money because it cost me 15 quid a month to run that Discord with the me six kind of plugin so i'm looking to see how much it will cost to not have that in there so when it's running again i'll let you know but i don't know whether it's going to be anytime soon or not so today's player is levy corwell uh, a young center back from chelsea who's on loan at brighton right now um so obviously in first you cannot sign him he's got a max potential rating of 170 uh, which I think is, I remember correctly, is locked to that if, if memory serves. I think it is. Um, so obviously, um, straight away, English player helps the quota. Will be, will be quite expensive though with the potential he's got and the fact he's English and he's in the Premier League. So straight away, you can see the stats on defensive. We've got good heading, uh, marking, passing, technique, and tackling are all good, 13 or above. Physically, good acceleration, good balance, good pace. And obviously, McMillan's stats. 16 composure for a 19 year old is very very impressive now obviously you've got two and a half star current ability and um, maybe five star potential ability now obviously because he's at chelsea and, he, and, and you can and, and you cannot get him um in your first um season he's on loan at brighton i was going to this i think it's a scout report but it's not really it's chelsea's own player but basically great pace yeah uh, skillful approach to the game, can play in couple positions, that basically the, the plus side, and also the quotes, it helps with the quota for the registration issues in the league and terms of all that kind of, all that kind of thing. So tactic wise, as you can see here, he's got a very strong left foot and a reasonable right foot, there are no player traits on him right now. Obviously we've been a Premier League club, there's not really much in terms of claws in there, you very rarely really see it. I, I don't recall actually seeing a Premier League club once of it, a Lewis clause in there. Other than relegation, maybe. We actually have relegation clauses in there. The Chelsea won't have that, obviously. The way they're playing at the minute, they could get relegated if they keep doing that next year, which they won't. Um, I'm almost certain that they will not do that. So, yeah, got a really good solid base here for a player. And I want to see, I got again, you can tell from the start of this that those physicals are going to absolutely rocket it, I think, are going to be the main plus side. But technically, I think you could do quite well as well. So, Let's jump, let's get to it. <laughs> Alright folks, she's 23 years old and life, I said the technical, the date, physical stats would go up and they have massively, as you can see, all up to these 14, one, well, 15 or above averages, it was one at 14. But look at the pace, look at the jumping each, look at the balance, the acceleration, absolutely fantastic player. Uh, obviously, big value range there, we, obviously we scout that more, we get more information on that. But look at these, that antici anticipation, decision making, Positioning, all very good for a defender. 15 leisure as well, which is interesting. Good heading, you think so, you can reach on 6 foot 2. Good marking, good passing, good tackling, good technique. Very, very good um, player um, in those areas already. And obviously, you've got two new player traits on him from the frame, taking long shots, makes sense, and brings the ball out of defence. So, injury record for him is not bad. It's okay. I've actually lower leg for two, mo two months. Is the only major injury. Ooh, I want football. I'm sorry, guys. I want to football again. Oh, it's beautiful 4K TV. Um, so, yeah. Um, really good injury record there. It's normal injuries there. Goals and assists. Not really much point in showing you this because you're not going to see many of them. But, again, he's getting a lot of football. So, that's helped his development, obviously, quite well. Um, so yeah, really good player. Obviously, contract information is not really, not really close in there. Again, this could be a problem getting him out of Chelsea because obviously, you know, Premier League club, winning his player, high potential, it could be a problem. He's got up to uh, 170, so 169, 70, so he's got to that potential range already. I think it's down to that games that he's played, which has really been really helpful for him. I think as a left back, Maybe could work. He's got the dribbling skills and the pace, but um, obviously not good crossing abilities. So it could work as an emergency left back. But I think for, I think I think more central is definitely the way to go with him. So let's continue. So he's still at Chelsea, which I'm not surprised about. And we've got some more player traits. Obviously got one balls on left hand side. Like I said, could be a left back. Maybe still back at all times, which is interesting. Okay. Fans taking long shots and brings but our defence. And that passing ability 15 is very, very good. So that's not a problem for me. 
Metals are fantastic. Oh, John for oh. John <laughs> I'm watching football, guys. I do apologize. I can't. I, I've, got, I've got to watch football at the same time. Um, so, anticipation, composure, decision making, position are very good. Again, physicals are basically the same. I think the stamina dropped, by, dropped down by 1 to, four, to, 15, to 14 or 15. But solid. I think left back, yes. A defensive left back, certainly. But interesting how he's got both of them on. One's the board, left hand side, and sit back at all times. That's very, very interesting. Injury record is to check. Checking on that again, again, it's not concerning. Um, I'd like to, I was sure it's because kids say, because it's say, but I've never once seen a player with low injuries, well, not often anyway. Again, you're looking at goals and assists here, and you're not going to see much really. Two goals, two assists, three assists that season, two goals that year, and then one goal, three assists. Yeah, you're not going to see much from a guy who's playing center, oh god, sorry, a guy who's playing center back, I'm guessing, for most of the season. Um, yeah, so you're not going to see that much, are you really? Uh, but you never know. From corner kicks, if you play a corner kick, if you play a set piece kind of focused system, whereby you really go in depth on your set pieces, this guy could be a threat. He's six foot two, and he's got a great jump in reach and heading. So if you really work on your set pieces and you target it, it could be handy. Um, it could get, it could get more goals. Obviously, you know, not necessarily something you'd guarantee to get, but definitely something that's possible. Right, one final jump. Let's get to it. All right, folks. So now he's in his, he's now 32, and he's still got the pace, which is absolutely fantastic. Heading 16, passing 17, technique 16. Mentals are off the off the chart here, and physicals are very high as well. And obviously, playing player traits. No transfer fee because, again, like I said, there's a problem getting him out of Chelsea could be a problem. But if you work at it, you maybe could get him out of there. Um, what the size this guy is, yeah. Across the board, everything looks fantastic. The downside to this guy is, I think the fee will be massive for him. But if you're a Chelsea, play, Chelsea fan and you're looking to do a Chelsea save and you want to see this guy is good for, good for you, this is the guy. This guy is definitely worth designing. And with a potential rating of 170, he is locked to that. So he's not like he, he, he might get, he might get that potential rating. He will get that potential rating. Obviously, he might reach it, but most likely he will if you play him often enough. Injury record is, is, is another plus side for him really here. It's not he's not overly injured, which is great to see. But the only downside is that we don't know really transfer fee for him. I was imagine it'd be a lot of money. Um, maybe if you work again, I don't know. I, I need to test it myself out. If you work at transfer, work at it long term and try and get him out of there early on, you might get a bit. You might get him out there. Obviously, keep him on Chelsea, but he's playing a lot of football with Chelsea, so he will get. He will develop quite well. So, is he a guy? Is he, is he a guy you're going to sign yourself, guys? What you think? What you think about Livy Colwell? Obviously, Brighton fans will know, will know a lot about him at the moment. What are your thoughts on it? Like, comment, subscribe to the video down below as my Let's Play, Let's Play channel and my FIFA channel down below. Go check us out as well and I'll catch you all in the next video. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.